Good morning. You are watching QTV this morning. We are back again on another edition of This Morning. It's Wednesday, um, the 9th of November. Wow, November is almost gone. See? It's past. It is. It's, this, this passed by quick. Yeah, Lolly. as if somebody is just fast forwarding it. Wow, can you imagine? I mean, uh, when, when, I mean so it was far. November 1st and yes. now it's November 9th. Wow, before you know it, it's yes. 30 years. Well, things are mm. things are going very fast these mm. days, and uh, you know I am not comfortable with the way things really? are going this way. Really? Yes. <laughs> On the program. But well, you, you said the other day that you were in a haste that we enter 2023 because you well, almost. Immense but the way the days are going by, I mean, let that let let my that comment not make it fast <laughs> this way. I mean. I think it was because of your that it's, comment. It's really going. I can remember when we said November fourth, and See? today is November 9th. Before you realize, it's November 30th. Yeah. Yes. So anyway. We are back again on oh, another yes. edition. It's good to have you here. Oh, Molly. yes. Good to be here as well, always, Mr. Balde. So what's up? How have you been? Um, I'm trying to be very much okay. You know, it's not easy being mm -hmm. a journalist, being a mom, and doing all things to make it possible. Your tailor did justice on you. Thank you for mentioning her. Mm. Yeah, Mohammed. Um, he's my tailor. Mm. He would always say, Wednesday and Thursday, don't worry, I'll fix it's you up. It's lawless time. Yes. So, Mohammed, thank you very much. Um, I like it. Yeah, so back to business. And on the program today, we'll be looking at the, Afri the African proverb as usual. Um, as you know, on this program, it's a tradition for us to um, interpret the African proverb. I mean, um, to let you know the lessons behind each and every proverb. We've been hearing proverbs in our society um, for a very long time, but it's important for us to go deep, you know, bring yeah. experts, bring people mm. who are knowledgeable to be able to interpret this for us. Mm. And today, um, on the newspaper review, we'll be joined by, uh, we, he's already in the studio. Yeah, already I mean, joined by. Uh, Mr. Suleiman Dabo. Mr. Dabo. Good to be here, Balde. Yes. Good to be here, Lolo. It's hey. good to have you here yes. all the time. Anytime. Yes. And on Community Watch, 700 students denied access to school due to reluctance from youth of the vicinity. That's Latikunda Sabiji. Hmm. So we'll be having the school principal here, and he will tell us why. Yes. We understand That's that um, MRC Holland uh, Foundation wants to expand the school mm -hmm. um, so that you know it can accommodate more Many. students uh, but uh, people um, came out in that vicinity to tell them look i mean if you expand this we are going to lose our football field wow now we want to know is football field far better than Education. you know the classrooms wow. we are not saying the classrooms are better than the field but we will call the principal here and also we'll try engaging the youth leader mm -hmm. um, of that community. Sure. Yes. On social issues, we'll be talking to the uh, president of the transport union via uh, telephone. That's Mr. Cisse. Um, as you know, uh, we've been seeing a lot of um, stickers being sticked on vehicle. I mean, I mean, to tell us uh, the road licensing services on tests. So mm -hmm. we will see how effective it is. Yeah. Um, because I believe people are still complaining of drivers' attitude towards um, mm -hmm. going to places that places, they are not yeah. supposed to exactly, go. Yeah. So we'll talk to him on phone to mm -hmm. see, you know, how successful it is and what are they doing, I mean, to expand on this. Yeah, so we'll start with the African program, Lolly. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Balde, for that rundown of programs. Mm. Um, it is packed full. Mm. So I'll go straight to the African proverb, and it reads, A child among men will soon become a man. A child among men will soon become a man, Mr. Davo. <laughs> ah, I'll start with you. <laughs> um, let me start just my, by just saying that um, we are giving our understanding mm -hmm. of the proverb sure. here. Yes. So that is not to say that it cannot be interpreted in other ways. Mm. Sure. We are just giving our own interpretation, Definitely. individual interpretation of the proverb. Absolutely. So again, uh, going to the point, uh, back to the point of uh, not very good at interpreting <laughs> proverbs. Mm. Um, because I don't want anybody to take me uh, to say to me that you said this about that pro proverb. Pro it was supposed to be that. <laughs> yeah. was supposed to I be know. That. So, but yeah, but this is this enough. is fun. I, I love the African mm. proverb thing. Yeah. So, um, what is it again? Uh, a, a child among men will yeah. soon become a man. A man, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we will all start somewhere, and yeah. we've grown, and we are growing, and um, basically that's what's behind this proverb, as mm. far as I understand it. Um, so when you started, for example, um, um, 
a new job mm -hmm. um, and you uh, you you um, steadily um, going through mm -hmm. the um, um, up the or going up the ladder sure. um, be patient um, try to do your best because your ultimate aim is to reach there yeah. so pushing yourself too hard mm -hmm. uh, might, might make you fall down mm -hmm. so just take your time be patient mm -hmm. and you know you are growing and you will get to where you want to be mm. Definitely. yes absolutely oh yes well i mean like mr rabo said the proverb is broad i mean yeah. uh, you yeah. can have different interpretation when it comes to the proverb um, for me, my own interpretation is telling you, um, but I mean, you can, you, like a child growing up in an environment, it depends on the type of environment the child is growing up. Mm. Um, it's telling you, you can easily take attitudes from people that you move with mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. A child among men will soon become, become a man. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the proverb, it's far more than what we see. Yeah. on the surface. Mm. I mean, there is something deep. Yeah. It's oh, telling yeah. you, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, among men, you will soon become a man. This yeah. means uh, you will have that understanding. You will learn from them if you are able to learn, if yeah. you allow yourself to learn. Yeah. So uh, there are things that you know, um, you, you have to go through a process. I remember a couple of years ago, this mm. is less than two decades ago, less than 20 years ago, mm. um, people who I saw or went with to high school with are now responsible for the affairs of this country. See? You know, I mean, so we will all grow and we will grow to get to somewhere. Mm. The point is try to make the best out of what you can from where you are. Mm. If you are a child going to school, please be, ser be focused. Exactly. Please be serious mm. because you are growing up. Mm. And honestly, growing, looking at our environment today, so many things have changed in our country. Mm. Uh, the culture I am used to, mm -hmm. or was used to, mm. is like that culture, that tradition um, of respecting elders, mm. of being patient. Mm. Um, it's fading away. It's, it's fading away. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fading away. And that is, yeah, development comes along with a lot of challenges, but I still believe as a society that we can and we should be very mindful of being disciplined ourselves mm -hmm. and disciplining our kids. Important. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the proverb is really important. And as we all said, we can always interpret it in our own various ways and mm -hmm. understanding the way we understand it. Yeah. And this one, like a, a child among men will soon become a man. Yeah. So to my <laughs> understanding, <laughs> you've been in the midst of Elders, yeah. you always learn fast, yeah. and you can always adapt to, yeah. you know, whatever you know they exactly. are doing. Exactly, you adapt to the environment. Environment as yeah. well, so yeah. it is important. And sometimes you learn a lot, and that can guide you along as you Correct. grow up yeah. as well. Yeah. So it is really yes. important to move, you know, to be in the midst of elders because we are still young and we really need to learn. Yeah. Because as you said, things are changing. Absolutely. And those days that our parents used to live is no more happening. Yeah. Unless you sit with them, chat with them, you get to know how things were done yeah. in their ways. So it is yeah. good we interact with, with them, them to learn, learn from, from them because mm. it will serve as a guidance to us as we also grow. Because mm -hmm. someday we'll, we'll take up the mantle yeah. of leadership yeah. or being in the helm of uh, uh, leadership yeah. positions yeah. or whatever, yeah. being anywhere. So it is good we interact with elders, we interact with experienced people, not even just elders per se, but even your bosses, because mm. they're there, you know, they started somewhere. Mm. So always interact with them, mm. ask questions, be curious, yeah. and you'll get to learn more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, your point uh, got me, I mean, that's discipline. Mm. You talked about discipline. Yeah. I think. Um, discipline is now lacking in our society, yeah. you know, a lot. The way people were disciplined and today, it's totally different. Yeah. Uh, because of societal influence, because of um, the way people are living now, mm. each and every person is living yeah. uh, in a different life, sure. you know. And I think that's why some of, so, you know, the things that we know, Mr. Dabo, the things that we used to know mm -hmm. in our society, mm -hmm. uh, when we leave it, I mean, when we are not abiding by those things, yeah. we are doomed. I yeah. mean, mm -hmm. um, it's difficult for you to mention certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, 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 the amount of discipline that people have, yeah. it's, it's yeah. few. It's, it's I, 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 it's I'm talking yeah. from, mm -hmm. today I have seen mm -hmm. 
a young man insulting an elder in yeah. front of me, like oh insulting an elder yeah. on the traffic like yeah. this. Yeah. It know? happens. Uh, it's worst time. when you are driving around. Yeah. That's when it is. It is. It is worst. It is visible out there. And the saddest part of it is, it's like it is condoned. It's normal. It's taken as this is normal mm. now. Yeah. We shouldn't normalize no. that. No, we don't have to. Like I said in the last program when I was here, every country has something unique to it, and they fight very hard to hold on to it because it is unique to them mm. in the sense that that is what they are known for. Definitely. Gambia being a peaceful, disciplined country has been there for a long time. Mm. When that is going away, we have a responsibility as people who are at the helm of society, mm -hmm. of, of, of government, for example, elders, as you were saying, mm. to, be, to be the guide. Whether those who should listen and take advice from the elders will do that, I don't know, mm. but people who are elders, who are in positions of authority and responsibility should exercise because they have the, the knowledge and the experience and the wisdom mm. to guide the young ones. But Definitely. the young ones must be ready to listen. Mm. Definitely. Yes. And you're driving around town, you see a driver do something ridiculous. Mm. And they will just, instead of looking at you to say, I'm sorry what I've done, mm -hmm. They would just be looking the other way. Yeah, mm -hmm. they'll ignore. I mean, they like, yeah, happens, it's, yeah. it's hard to say. But anyway, that could be a topic of uh, <laughs> exam day, discussion. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's important for us to mention this. As we are talking about discipline in our society, um, I have seen youngsters smoking. Hey. Small boys. <laughs> small boys. <laughs> small. I think the, the smallest that I've seen is almost 12 years. What? Smoking yeah. cigarette. Yeah. You know? And it's these are normal. Things, yeah. And yeah. it's normal. You know, yeah. uh, he is more of an apprentice. I mean, oh. like 12 yeah. smoking cigarettes. Yeah. I mean, um, they think it's normal. Yeah. And I said to the boy, Yo, you think this is okay with you, but maybe one day you will struggle to leave it. And yeah. they think it's a lifestyle and it as well. It will be very know? difficult. Yes. Exactly. Something you know, when I was going lifestyle. to high school, I used to hear this be careful because you guys will take over the mantle of this country mm. someday, sometime. Mm. And you think it's and just. And I think a, it's just. A form of just may I say, and I'll be like, yeah. oh, how could we? Yeah. Oh, we're here, we're mm. young people, we're yeah. enjoying. And it happens. Today, it's, it's right here. It's yeah. here. <laughs> so if we were not well trained, mm. well prepared, mm. would we be able to take the mantle of this country? It will yeah. be a dangerous yeah. leader. So that's the danger that people are seeing now. Mm. 10, 15, 20 years from now, honestly, if, if we don't change, mm. the young ones that are coming up, if they don't change, this country will be difficult to govern. Mm. And that you know, is the absolute truth mm -hmm. that no one can deny. Mm. And some, at so, uh, some point, elders wouldn't take us serious because we, they say we are not serious ourselves. Mm. Because of the things that we involve ourselves yeah. into. Mm. You want to get money, you want to get it fast. There you go. That's we don't it. have patience to yeah. wait. Mm. There you and go. They, would, they, they don't yeah. tend to take us seriously. Yeah. They say, these kids are not serious. They don't know what they want. Yeah. They think they just can't get it like in a day or just yeah. in, a, like, in a rush. Yeah. Yeah. rush. You want and to be rich they say in a day. They, yeah. you, you want to reach um, um, a certain level um, in, your employ in your employment very fast. Very fast. You don't want to be patient. You want to do things just the quickest, quickest mm. way. <laughs> possible yeah it's it's, it's it it's, lands it's, in it's, trouble it's, you know it's, it's not good. yeah it's not so good. these anyway. proverbs that we 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 read here mm. are not just we we are not yeah, here just to read it but we are trying to send a message across yeah. because yeah. um many youngsters now are not you know paying attention to all this yeah. uh, detail and and these are some of the things that can you know set you on track as well because right. if you have an opportunity to listen to what we read here you can you know reorganize yourself yeah. oh i was really going this way but let me take this way Correct. i think what they have said makes sense so it's good that every day before we start the show we mm. talk about it not just because talking about it but you can also learn something and you know out of it yes yeah. absolutely yeah. Mm -hmm. yes thank you very much i mean that's a wonderful interpretation there by um, mr double lolly and myself yes so now we'll take a short break after the break then we will go to the newspaper review and uh, mr Dabo, it's our newspaper review guest we'll be back Q-Money is back again with its easy-to-use, secure and convenient mobile app that allows you to carry out all your transactions. No matter where you are or what time it is, you can always access your funds. With the new Q-Money app, you can cash in and out, 
buy credit, buy QPower, shop, make payments, and so much more. You can also send Q money, pay bills, receive international remittances, and transfer cash to others. Just download the app from your Play Store or App Store and get started. For more information, call Customer Care on 133. Q Money, Sinu Kalpe. We innovate, others follow. Welcome back from that short break. You're watching QTV this morning. If you miss anything discussed on this platform, please go to our social media handles and you know you should be able to find it there. And of course, 12 midnight, it's the repeat of this program. Um, Lolly, what do we have there? Yes, so I have the newspapers with me, um, but I'll start with the Point newspaper. Mm. And on the front page, it reads, African descendants renew calls for uh, reintegration of enslaved Africans. Trade Ministry committed to ensuring availability of essential commodities. Mm -hmm. And government spends about 1.5 billion on full subsidies, says the finance minister. Chinese Embassy presents 570,000 40 sewing machines to KMC. ECOWAS and UNI DR mm. organized a regional conference to facilitate uh, dis disaster management in West Africa. And where is it GYIN, mm. mm. Gambia founder, receives recognition as outstanding professional. So on the another paper that I have with me, mm. November 11 protests, no truce in mediation efforts as deadline draws nearer. Gambia for five years cancels counter protests against November 11 planned protests. Eyewitnesses unhappy with a known Gambian attack on Gambian army as please release culprit. So those are the headlines. Thank you. And this is the foreign newspaper. National Assembly to convene budget session on Monday. Uh, Mopsi calls on school authorities to promote religious tolerance. And of course, CRR word councillors apologize to uh, National Assembly Regional Government Committee. We also have consultant accepts lapses where made in maintaining bandul drains. Government with partners, uh, partners with GGC to stabilize prices. Works minister appears before National Assembly Committee. And on the editorial, we have newly graduated nurses with bachelor's degree looking for appointment. Wow. How does government intend to contain increase in the prices of commodities in the Gambia? Mm -hmm. So we have on the editorial of the foreign newspaper. Um, there is a particular um, headline that caught my attention. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at um, newly graduate uh, nurses with bachelor's degree looking for appointment. Um, what do you think, Mr. Dabo? I mean, um, don't you think the environment should be in such a way that when you graduate, automatically we know you are going to work for this and this uh, institution than looking for appointments? Yes. Um, if all things remain the same, we can expect that. But unfortunately, it's, it's not like that. When you look at the Gambia, we are a small country. And government is the biggest employer. Mm -hmm. So anybody who graduates from high school, the first point of call for, for employment is government. So graduating from, from college with a degree, um, for example, with this, mm -hmm. with this nurses, yeah. where do you expect them to work? Because all major hospitals are government owned. Yeah. So if, if there are no vacancies, naturally they won't have employment. What needs to be done is for, we have private hospitals, but government needs to diversify the health sector um, to allow private individuals to invest in the health sector. That will bring efficiency, it will bring employment, Unless that is done, mm -hmm. this problem will persist because we have a very small economy. We have a very small market when it comes to employment. And there are certain jobs that you cannot perform anywhere 
other than the field you study. Yeah. And that's what we are exactly. yeah, with the, with this nurses. Yeah, that's Where true. else can they be employed? It's only in the no, health facilities no. that we have across the country. And government, again, is the biggest employer. Mm. If there are no vacancies, where are, the, where are you going to put them? This is the problem we have. And even not there, the way I'm observing it, with the number of graduates that we're having from the University of the Gambia, mm. I'm not even talking about those coming from Europe and America that are coming back home to seek for uh, employment. Mm. If we don't start to plan now and diversify and let government, you know, be out of the way and let private sector come in, encourage them to expand, then we will have, we will get to a point where, you know, we will have a lot of graduates without jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 I am really, uh, I mean, I'm really it's sad, though. I'm it's, seeing, it's very I'm seeing sad. that coming. Definitely. Yeah. Because if you look at the number of students we have from our high schools, that are aspiring to go to the UTG. Definitely. From there, at the end of the time, they want employment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, people are crying that it's difficult to get employment in the Gambia. Yeah. You know, if nurses are crying, whom you know, this is their speciality. Yeah, this yeah. is where they specialize. Yes. Yeah. You understand? They are yeah. crying and waiting for appointments. Mm -hmm. You know, then um, it's it's a problem. It and you know problem. what made it matters was is many people wouldn't want to go to the rural Gambia for you know appointments or to be stay there mm. because the, f the facilities in place for these are people not are not conducive the environment itself so everybody wants to be here which will be very difficult so for them all to get employment here that just takes us to the point that i made earlier that is you see government we are dependent on them because they are the ones that are responsible mm. for everything that mm. goes on into the country Definitely. in the country mm -hmm. so unless you broaden the product, production base or the productive base of the economy. Mm -hmm. This is what will end up happening. Mm -hmm. People will go to school, graduate, and then find it difficult to find jobs. Another thing is move everything, decentralize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Move stuff from mm -hmm. here. Everything is mm -hmm. concentrated in the greater Banjul yeah. yeah. area. It makes it that difficult. is a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at the congestion in traffic. Mm -hmm. Now it takes you an hour literally an hour and that is if you don't live very far mm -hmm. if you live very far it might take you more than an hour one hour 30 minutes two hours to get to your destination why because there are a lot of cars fewer roads mm -hmm. a lot of pedestrians mm -hmm. a lot of passengers exactly so or what's what's going to happen moving to one direction That's exactly right. everybody yeah. moving and towards one direction time. and at we the all same move time. at the same time you know yeah, so exactly. it's, it's a problem. Yes, government be, has be, a yeah. lot of work yeah. to do. It should be looked yeah. into. Definitely. Because what happened is today, I mean, you need to, like you mentioned, to decentralize these mm -hmm. things. So that people, uh, there's nothing that is going to prevent um, maybe 40% uh, of the people traveling to travel around the phones to go and walk. Oh. Bale, there's nothing wrong people, with it. People do drive. Uh, mm -hmm. 45 minutes, one hour to get to work without congestion in traffic. Mm -hmm. If the roads are good, which to some extent, you know, it's, it's, they're getting better. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the, our highways. Yeah. I'm not talking about the roads the within roads, the cities. Yeah. They're getting better. Mm -hmm. If you decentralize and you provide basic facilities, people will move. Why not? I rather live in the provinces where I know there are no congestion, where I know there is not uh, much pollution, mm. I yeah. have my freedom, I have my space. I will drive one hour, 30 minutes, living in Kiang, for example, and driving to work to come to QTV every morning. Mm. If I leave 5 o'clock Kiang, I'll be here by 6, yeah. 6.30. You should be I can to. be able to go to work. Why wouldn't I do that? Well, obviously. Yeah. So it's just being innovative mm -hmm. and, and let these things happen. This thing is, you, know, you have to plan ahead. Mm. Government should, they need to start planning ahead because yeah. what we are saying right now, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is going to well, be with you know, us in, for a while. In 10 years to come, I said to my little brother, in 10 years to come, we will not be able to move on this highway. Yeah. You know why? Everybody is going to buy a vehicle, yeah. and at the same time, the roads will be congested. People mm. will be building, you know. So there will be a lot of factors 
and we won't be able to move unless and that. until they they look at the issue of the feeder roads yeah. because yeah. some at some point if those ones are okay even those roads are congested sometimes yeah, yeah they, they are congested it's, it's, but it's, it's, it makes it better because yeah. everybody is using the highway because yeah. you don't want your uh, car to be spoiled because yeah. using the feeder roads now the only solution that i've seen here is to decentralize it, yeah. it is to Let decentralize them take most of the schools facilities to that to, to create the facilities there if you can city move, water if you can move from brikama to banjul banjul every day to go and walk yeah you can move from Brikama to Bonto. Huh. You can move from Brikama uh, uh, to Sibano. Yeah, and what? You can do it. Yeah. Well, so, so if, for example, this this OIC summit that is coming here, if you build this 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 the conference center somewhere, with all the roads that they are constructing here, if you've used that money, for example, to construct roads in the provinces to create water um, and electricity. Mm. You said people will be going there. And, okay. and, and, and you know, be institutions, build institutions. Exactly. Because, because those in the, in the provinces would come down here to either pursue their education, Go follow their education, yeah. or look for, for jobs. Okay. But if you have offices there, if you have institutions where after your graduation, grade 12, you yeah. can simply, you know, enroll yeah. at an institution, mm -hmm. you wouldn't need to come here. That's right. But yeah. after grade 12, what you think of is, let me go to Combo. Combo yeah. Everything is in the coast. Yeah. Like uh, me, myself. After yeah. my graduation, yeah. I have you to come to, here. You move to the combo. Yes. And, you know, mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, solutions should be put. This is the right time for us to do it. Yeah. They have to strategize, yeah. It. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will be late. Yeah. Now, let's move on to government partners with GCC, uh, GGC to stabilize uh, prices. We all know Gambia is a free uh, market uh, mm -hmm. price. I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. uh, government don't impose how much you're going to sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It depends on the individual. Mm -hmm. But how are they going to do this? Yeah. The monitoring would be very difficult. Don't you think so? Uh, so when they say GGC, that mm. is, uh, are they talking about Gambia ground the ground the food operation? Processing yes. and yeah, that's, so that name is changed. Yeah, now. So yeah. It's yeah. now GGC changed to marketing, anymore, exactly. Gambia marketing. Yeah, it's, it's the food national, yes. food, yeah, exactly. So, so, you know, we are living in an unusual time in the sense that right now there is food shortage across the globe worldwide and that's mainly due to the war in ukraine mm. also before that we had the pandemic so what governments are doing um, or what they are forced to do is to reassess see what is happening right now this food shortage is affecting our people <coughs> what do we do and how do we do it by providing or by making sure that prices of basic commodities are stabilized. Mm. Because you have a responsibility to your citizens to provide them with what they need at affordable prices. If that is not happening, people normally will, will revolt. Um, they, will, they will protest because nobody, if you cannot afford it, you will find means to, 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 to make up for the difference. Definitely. So this partnership, with Gambia, um, Gambia government with, in partnership with food processing. To me personally, I think it is, it, is, it is something that is good. Now, addressing your fear, which is Gambia being a free market economy, mm. government intervention could be seen as trying to control prices. Mm. In this sense, I don't think, because my interview with the um, Director General of, of, of food processing, mm. Mr. Mohamed Jai. This was a concern I raised with him. Mm. And he assured me and the viewers that this is not the intention of government. All government is doing is to stabilize, create competition, stabilize the price, create competition. Mm. If the, um, those in the private sector, um, especially in the trading of basic commodities, rice, um, oil, flour and things like that. Mm -hmm. If they can look at the interests of the nation as well, not only at their profits, mm -hmm. that we are living in a time where, you know, things are different, different. across the globe. globe yeah. So this, and I don't think government is, is intention is to have this to become a continuous thing. Mm. This is this is an emergency situation, as you put it. They're trying to intervene to stabilize the prices. Once that is done, I am sure government will, will get out of the way to let the private sector. But this is normal for every government to do, Definitely. either in Europe or in America. 
when things are getting out of hand, mm. you have to step in because oh, yes. you have a responsibility mm. to your citizens. Definitely. But I think the, the, they came very late. I mean, <laughs> they should have done this yeah. long time ago. Yeah. Maybe maybe the they were looking for, for, for strategies and yeah. put it so, in place so I think plans they, they, as well. What they prioritized mm. is where uh, the problem lies. Because, you know, they intervened in, in stabilizing the, pricing, the price of fuel. They've intervened to get um, those who they call import essential commodities, the required foreign exchange, to bring those commodities, to import them into the country. Mm. The recent one is this um, importation of, of oil. Addressing your point, they are too late because rice, which is the most important of all, mm. After that report, so many people that I've spoken to believe that if this was rice, it would have been a better choice. Yeah. Oil is not bad, mm. but you would normally have alternatives to oil. You can either cook your domoda mm -hmm. or you can cook your bahal. But bahal, domoda, all goes with rice. Yeah. So it is not easy no, to substitute rice. Rice, rice, rice is, is the staple food. In yes. fact, you've reminded yeah. me. Rice is forced in heaven. My wife heaven. sent me a message and she, I mean, she, she <laughs> sent me that my, our rice is finished. Oh, no. The rice is finished. Oh, no. So, so I need to at get, this time of the month? And, and I need to get another, um, another one. You know, and yes. It just reminded me of what Mr. Njai told me, Mohamed Njai, the uh, managing director of uh, uh, natural, National Food Processing mm -hmm. uh, Marketing, yes, mm -hmm. Corporation, mm -hmm. that... Um, Government's intention, the reason why um, they have not imported rice yet is because they want to in encourage uh, local production of rice. Mm. That's what they're trying to do. Hey. That's what they're doing so that Gambia becomes self-sufficient. Mm. The hey. problem is right now, when will that before, be before that is done, actually, according to him, the work is already on the way okay. um, in that direction. Right now, it's an emergency. People need rice. Badly. Until that, 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 that idea becomes a, a reality, reality, definitely. This rice, the government intervention in bringing rice is needed, and it's needed now. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's see what will happen in maybe one, two years to come. Hey. Well, probably. You know, maybe think, in the soonest think, possible time, because we can't wait. And there are people in the private sector who are very much interested um, um, in, 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 in engaging, to, to engage themselves in rice production. I remember, mm. you know, our, our CEO yeah. um, was He's with the president with the not long ago, well. uh, mm. with the people of Korea, mm -hmm. you know, trying to, you know, um, make rice you affordable know, Mr. Dabo, The problem that we have, yeah. you know, um, no disrespect to any person watching or any foreigner. Mm. Uh, you know, a country's economy yeah. should not be controlled by foreigners. Or if it's controlled by foreigners, yeah. it's a problem. Yeah. When you look at the the biggest importer of rice, mm -hmm. if you go to him today, yeah. they'll tell you he's not a Gambian. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. If you go to the biggest importer of cooking oil today, mm -hmm. they'll tell you he's not a Gambian. Mm -hmm. So once they control yeah. your food or what you bring into your country, yeah. They control your life. Yeah, exactly. They do their yeah. pricing. Correct. That's why we are having yeah. all these problems. So Absolutely. This is why it is Absolutely. important that the government has taken mm. this step. Correct. You know, yeah. to so I'm not in favor of protectionism, which mm. is to protect um, everything that belongs to the government. Mm. But there are some sectors that just need to be controlled mm. and controlled Definitely. by the citizens mm. of this country mm. because they are just so important mm -hmm. to be left in the hands of a foreigner. Exactly. Nothing against we are, foreigners. We are not saying foreigners no. should not no. own businesses no. in the Gambia. No, they should, no. Of yes, no. Yes. of course. No, no. It's, I, I, it's absolutely important. nothing. We are yeah. not I have saying lived that. 14 years of my life That's outside this country. Yeah. Mm. So I, I know how important foreigners are, are to uh, an economy. Mm -hmm. But every country that you visit, mm -hmm. there are basic infrastructure. There are basic things that are controlled by the citizens of that country. Mm -hmm. And food is one of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't left leave feeding of your people in the hands of other people. Of when person. you do that, you are losing. Exactly, so yeah. that's the problem here. Yeah. You know, so when I saw um, the Q group, I mean, coming into right production, yeah. you know, I was impressed. Mm -hmm. Because I, uh, you know, I, w I said, this is going to be 
positivity yeah. in the future. Absolutely. You know, if, yeah. if Q Group can do right, rice production, yeah. uh, and, you know, Mohammed mentioned something very important. He mm. said, in a few years to come, we want to be exporting our rice. rice. Exactly. See? We want we to export it? rice yeah, to, order, to our so yes. sub region. Yes. So this is yes. why um, every citizen should be in support of this. Yeah. You know, we, we should make sure that this project materializes mm. because at the end of the day, yes. um, it is in the interest of the Gambians. Yeah. Yes. yes. Alhamdulillah, we yeah. won't tell you what we yeah. want to do. And just, 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 just quickly, but before, just give before us support. we move from there, mm. you know, when I visited Saro yesterday, um, the um, processing plant there, mm -hmm. they process groundnut into crude oil and cake, you know, as, yeah, as wow. the managing director said. And you didn't bring any cake? Well, the, the cake is cake. for, is for, for animal animals, feed. Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, it's for animal feed. It's you should not, have mentioned not for that. Human you just human said condom. cake. Uh, oh, yeah, cake. yeah. So, so, so and, and they're building, um, they, they're re re renovating the old one, building a new processing plant. And the, the plan is to build a refinery, which is going to refine that crude oil into oil itself, edible oil, mm. ah. you know, into the cooking oil. So okay. alongside pro producing rice, if we are producing oil, hey. then we become a stable country exactly. in terms of food. Mm. We mm. don't have to worry about food. Exactly. And we can start exporting, as you said, Mohammed is, is, yes. is planning to Definitely. do, export rice, export oil, and we will be, you know, self-sufficient. All that we are asking oh, yeah. for yeah. is rice. Yeah. And oil. Oil. This is all we yes, need. We can cook this our chew and chow. This is what we love. Yeah. So yeah. I think, uh, Mr. Dabo, thank you. We've <coughs> taken a lot of your time. Thank, thank you very much. That's what we have on the newspaper. Everyone, it's good to have you here. This Always a good pleasure to be here. So thank you next week, if you're coming, you bring along Mono. Yeah, Mono. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mono. All right, viewers, we'll take much. a short break. <laughs> After the break, then the program continues. We'll be back. The World Cup is here. Enjoy the beautiful game of football with our Samsung Smart TV. Enjoy a massive discount on any Samsung TV purchased. We have sizes ranging from 32 to 85 inches, packed with an ever-evolving variety of content and features. The Samsung Smart TV also provides your favorite video on-demand services such as Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, music streaming services, and even various games and sports content to enjoy as you please. For more information, call us on 333-217, on WhatsApp 350-555, or visit our brand shops at the ground floor of QCell Building or at the Bruce B. Turntable. This promo lasts till 30th December. As the fastest growing GSM company in the Gambia, QCell has the widest 4G plus coverage in the country. Three times faster internet speed than our competitors. So switch now and dial star 335 hash and enjoy what true 4G feels like. QCell, Gambia's trusted network. Motors is the largest and most modern auto service in the Gambia. The Spas Motors is the only authorized dealer in Chevy. Mercedes-Benz trucks, Mercedes-Benz buses, Kia, Ford, Futon Mini and Midi buses, Futon trucks. At Espas Motors, we have qualified professionals who use modern technology to diagnose and repair all brands of motor vehicles. Espas Motors services include auto sales, auto repairs, vehicle painting, availability of high quality spare parts, towing services. We are reachable at any time. Call Espas Motors on 352222-353-4444 or locate us on the Bertel Harding Highway. Espas Motors. Your favorite QCell service has gotten bigger. e Kanta. Now you can loan bigger credit amounts to make life easier for you, loan $75 and $100 and pay later. Yes, you heard me right. Get credit loan from $10 to $100 using Ifa Kanta by dialing star 393 hash. Anytime you run out of credit, whether you want to buy Q Power, browse the internet, make urgent calls, or send SMS. 
Aoife Kanta is the service for you. Dial star 393 hash and choose the loan amount of your choice with no hassle. For more information, call our customer care on 111. QSEL, Sunyabas, the pioneers of mobile loan service in the Gambia. We are back again on uh, this morning. If you miss anything discussed here, please go to our uh, uh, social media handles. Uh, that was a newspaper review we discussed yeah. with Mr. Dabo. Mr. That's Dabo. a fruitful discussion it's, it's there. Exactly. I think mm -hmm. uh, we've captured the most significant thing. That's the um, prices of foods in of the country. Yes. I think those mm -hmm. are things that need to be looked at. Definitely. I mean, when you looked at food, when mm -hmm. you... Uh, you know, basic commodities, they are very, very important. Definitely. Um, well, now we'll go straight to Community Watch. 700 students denied access to school due to reluctance from youth of the vicinity. And that's Lati Kunda. When I received this information yesterday, I said, well, it's important for us to call the principal very important. Um, to come on this platform to tell us what, what is happening really um, in Lati Kunda Sabiji. And you'll be surprised to know um, Latikunda Sabiji, it's my alma mater. Wow. Um, that's where you, I did my primary school yeah. from grade one to six, discipline and hard work. That's our motto. Um, so it's important for us to uh, see how best to bring solution to this. Definitely. Because education is also very and important. And this is a serious issue because 700 students is really quite I was, a big I was, number. I was really yes, so we cannot just know. let it go like that. We must have <laughs> exactly. to talk about it and know what really happened. So yes. it's good to have the, the principal. The principal, Mr. Tijan Sise. Okay. You're yes. very much welcome on this platform. Thank you very much, Madam. Yes. And Mr. Bali, it's my pleasure to join you here yeah. this morning. So, c can you tell us um, uh, the happening uh, on the on the ground? What what happened? We just want to clarify everything exactly. here. What what what's happening in Latikunda? Mm, Latikunda, as you said, space is the problem there. I was a head teacher in the school. Uh, sometimes 20, 17, 18 academic year, and well, uh, this is my third school. And as Mr. Bale said, it's also that to my own alma mater. We are the first batch of that school in 1972. Mm. Wow. So when I became a head teacher there, mm. issues around the school were very much appalling. I wrote to the office to talk about that. And they told me that, you know, they received my letters and issues there and it's noted. But upon availability of funds, they will come to our rescue. Among the problems were space, furniture, toilets, mm. and the like. It's a bit, and they are more than our budgets, so we, we need, may have to get intervention from outside. So along the side, I also organized the Ex People Association, yeah. which I'm going to be pleased to invite Mr. Bali to oh follow yeah. that. Oh I'll be very happy and to uh, be part. You should join, you know. Yeah, 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 you should. This association, yeah. you know, is registered as a, as a local business organization and registered at AG Chambers. Mm. So where we have prominent members. You know, the likes of Malin Sonko, they works at the State House. So they, so, uh, works at Ture, Omar, Omar Jatra, Lamin Koli, and one Alu Job. And those are prominent people. Some are living in the Gambia, some are outside the Gambia. Mm. So they, they came to our rescue in the first place to give us furniture. Because five children, were, some of them were sitting on the floor at the time I came there. So mm. the individual of this ex people it was great. Mm. So the same ex people where I belong, I'm the, I'm the secretary. We wrote to MRC Foundation for intervention yeah, through, yeah. through MOPSI. Mm -hmm. And MOPSI, they endorse our request, and then MRC, we are ready to come up. So the project was to be in two phases. The first phase was to give the school um, a facelift mm -hmm. to bring it to standards so that it can be impressed. If you go to school now, you will find that uh, the condition of the school previously and now is different. It's okay. different. Thanks to the intervention of MRC. Mm. And the other part was to uh, you know, extend the upper basic to have a senior school because we felt that the whole of that area from Abuko, Abuko has lower basic, upper basic, but no senior. Yeah. Fajikona has lower basic, upper basic, but no senior. Yeah. Like what's the lending? So therefore, we deem it fit for these people to help us. So they said, okay, they're going to you know, construct 24 classroom block for the senior school to kick off, which is right now going on. Okay. Yeah. So the final part is to them, for them to come to the rescue of the lower basic to build for the annex and proper, because the school is divided into two, annex and proper. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to make this record straight for your understanding. I'm the principal, uh, the headmaster of the annex. Annex, okay. Yes, and, and this program right now is at the proper. Mm. But proper and annex, we rescue each other. Mm -hmm. At times I was in need of furniture, they rescued me. 
So in this region also, we have to stand side by side yeah. in solidarity exactly. so that yeah. our problem can be solved together. Absolutely. So the MRC, they are ready to do the work. Since sometime in June, okay, uh, we, we came to the school to do the signing ceremony for the, for the project to take off. But to my very big surprise, our meeting was you know, interrupted by some youths. Mm. who used that place as a football ground and then they got the backing of some few elements in the society and uh, they went to see the Alkali and then whatever they told him I don't know but it seems as if as they told him that some of us are not from Latte Konda you know we can want to come and want to destroy the Latte Konda and go wow. it's far from that mm. I'm a native of Faji Konda but those who know history Fajikunda and Latikunda are inseparable. Well, Fajikunda is Latikunda. <laughs> you know, when you look at the geographical so, so, nature. So, so this is the situation on the ground now. Mm. So last more uh, after, you know, along the side, you know, the upper basic, you know, they borrowed the proper some classrooms. So that when the, the work is done, they would have just returned their classes and they have their own study building ready. But to uh, our disappointment, no way out. We went to speak to people like the Alkali, spoke to him, and then he also wanted to join them that said, there will be no construction in the field. So and is, that, that, is that field not part of the school? Or I'm is coming, it's the school, it's the school field. Wow. And then what happened, we just want to relocate the school field where it is to the back of the senior school, so mm -hmm. that that end can only be disposed yeah, Because the what happened is, I understand, mm -hmm. Latikunda, mm -hmm. um, it's a very big land. Yeah. Yeah. We have a land when you enter on the main, at the main gate, you have all the gardens. Yeah. I don't know if still the garden belongs to the school. We used to have a mango garden. Yeah, the mango orchard. Yes. Yeah, it is all part of the schools oh. now. That's where the senior school is and the upper basic. And the back of that, there is between where the, you know, the building stop to the other side. Okay. There's a big space where we wanted the boys to go and relocate the field there and then do their sport activities mm. so that you know they will not be having any disturbance with the academic areas. Mm -hmm. So um, what I want to understand mm -hmm. is before that could have uh, that started, did you guys not have any consultation with the elders of the town? Because in any school you have a PTA, yeah. you know, where parents are also involved or included in, exactly. in the association, in the PTA committee. They are part and of it. any issue with regards to school, mm -hmm. um, they are called upon, and you know, you talk to them with regards to whatever decisions you're taking. In this regard, did you not have any? meeting with, with, with the community members? The parents, uh, representative, the persons in the neighbor, uh, the chairperson, his mm -hmm. assistant, in the name of Mr. Chikambalde, uh, Chikamba, mm -hmm. and Mr. Lamin Kul, Koli, and Mr. John, and all the other guys, you know, the motor school president, they are all part of the, the meeting all along, mm -hmm. since these things started. And they all signed the, you know, the agreement, because we made an agreement with the MRC. That document, they all signed it to consent to the uh, agreement uh, that we can go ahead with this work. So that's why for those boys, actually, they were not part of the uh, initial discussions. Okay. But I felt that maybe that would not be a problem for them to understand that this is the school property and then this is Definitely. for yeah. the for Any the time know, that that's, that's, that's what I, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I'm not in support of the school either, the, the boys. boys. Um, I don't think the school needs to take permission from the boys to construct on their because land. The property I, I don't to the think school. so. I stand the same point with you. But That's if, my if at all, as well. if at all, the boy, like the the youth of Latikunda, also have their reason, they can still come. Exactly. They can so still come on the platform. Exactly. So what is hmm. happening now? Are you having any dialogue with them? Well, yes. I think uh, the dialogue has been initiated by uh, the Honorable MP some time ago, but that was supposed to be the last Friday, but. That we didn't, I did not see those guys there, but we, the committee members and the school, school administration, we went ahead with our meeting mm. and we came up with a temporary solution that uh, we cannot allow to, because the classes affected are grade three and grade six. Definitely and grade three is a NAD class, mm. yeah. and grade six is, so is a transiting class to grade That's seven. Yeah. So we felt that those guys, let's give them space. Presently, grade ones are the victims. Oh. The ones right now uh, have no class. At that meeting, uh, you know, the parents' meeting, some parents suggested that you know they will be contributing hundred dollars per parent, not per child, but per parent, yeah. so that they can use that phone to be able to renovate some furniture. And uh, that broken, that dilapidated the class there, I said that those children can f can be squeezed there yeah. as a temporary solution, but it's not finished because by the end of the year. You will find out that they cannot do any, any, any they antics, you know, do because anything. there is no space there. Yes. But I also understand, like. Um, 
every year, like quarter, mm -hmm. um, three months, the, the ministry gives certain amount to school that authorities mm -hmm. for renovation. Yeah. So what are those funds spent? Uh, they spent on? Okay, right now those funds are they call them for teaching and learning, you know, enhancement. Mm. Well, fifty percent of that money has to go into teaching and learning. And uh, we did some repairs with some furniture right now, as we are going on. But uh, the amount is very small to be able to do that huge repair because it's a very huge project to, to for us to you know, undertake. Mm. So we need assistance definitely. Yeah, Mr. C. So now, yes, uh, what is MRC Holland's stand at the moment? Yeah, for them, they said that this is not their so exactly, community yeah. so. Mm. When we agree, they will come. They are ready to help us. Because they are very proud of the ex people. That's why I, say I want to invite you there. Because they said ex people working with those guys, you know, it says that you know those people are real custodians. But the other staff they come and go on postings. But the you know, ex people, most of them are residents of the community and they are you know, settlers in the, in the environment. So for them to be part of this project, they are very much willing to come. For them, they are ever ready to come. Uh, even you know, at this moment, they, we go, yeah. they have a green light. They ask them to come. Is there any order? feel that these youths can go and do their activities. Latikuna, do we have a field there for the youths? Maybe a youth center? Yeah, where the youth specifically for the activities? youths, yes. Well, Bufo Zone is very close to Latikuna. Bufo Zone, that is why government then they mm. to leave the space yeah. for the, uh, for the, you know, you know, the play for of the boys. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, and also there's another area that is called, you know, Park, Jola, Jola Kuna Park, Jola Kuna Field. I know Jola Kuna. Yes, and you know, see, even within the school, you know, environment, as I said, the back of the upper basic, yeah. we want to leave the space. So were you able to discuss with them that, okay, fine, now, we are not going to deny you from um, getting you a football field. Mm -hmm. You still have another one behind the garden. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, did they understand that? That I'm yet to discuss with them because I have not seen anyone who come forward to me to tell me that this is my problem. Mm. Actually, I think I was only called once by the Alkali and to discuss on that matter. But what I told Alkali was that my stand is I want to make sure we have enough space so that all the children, if possible, they can all come on straight duties so that they will have more learning time. Mm -hmm. so they, uh, they will reflect on their performance and then they will bounce back to the community and to the country at large. Mm -hmm. So that is my position. I told him wherever we build the position on you know, the field. But actually, Mr. Bali, the only place where it's feasible is in the middle of that field. Because wow. the field is already divided since 2014 into two schools, mm. proper and annex. And uh, actually, the school is not making use of that field because th these boys, they always, you know, come and then override our small children there. Mm. Even after school, when the children want to cross, to cross that field, they dare not. It's a problem. They I think uh, the authorities, the school authorities, really need to take their stance on this because it's really an important one. Because you cannot sit and w watch this thing, just you know, wait for um, a community to decide. Because we are talking about school children here, mm -hmm. and you've just mentioned that grade one is really affected. Yes. So we yeah. cannot just sit and wait for whatever. You have to take your stand by, you know, creating or facilitating, you know, dialogue to make sure this thing is fast track and the construction begins. begins. Yeah, but uh, what uh, what is the problem? You know, they are not reaching at the school authorities, and, and then I will not even know. Who is in charge of them? Because I know only one one gentleman among them. That guy, he did not come forward to meet me, which I am trying to get to him, but we are not able to. Reach. So let the I, I don't understand, <laughs> yeah, Mr. C. Say, what yeah. happened? I mean, yeah. um, is the construction started? I mean, and they they came and said, okay, now you should not do any construction here. Yes. Have you started anything? Yes, because these people, you know, the MRT, they started doing it in sand. I think about two or three. So they saw sand. the sign that yes. you're doing something yes. here. So they reacted. They, they revolted. Wow. And then went on the, you know, on the rampage. So this is just open. So you need then, to have an open dialogue. Yeah, yeah. And then yes. as, as we are speaking, they got the, you know, the blazing of Al-Kali, who did not understand very yeah. well what is going on. Because See? when we formed this association, we went to him to pay court call mm. to tell him what is our intention. Because it is our property, we feel that you know we owe it to that community mm. to plow back. Yeah, so we, we want to make that school to be a sample public school, mm -hmm. so that it will not only be a school of, you know, the well, If at all, mm -hmm. if at all, um, some of them are watching. Mm -hmm. I want you to come on this platform and tell you us, know, and tell us your own side of your story. Why are you mean, refusing we, them to build? We are. Yeah. I tried calling the Alkali yesterday. I called his phone. It rang so many times, but he did not pick. I don't know whether he, maybe he doesn't know the number. Mm -hmm. um, but I tried reaching out to the Alkali. 
you know, to make this clear, it doesn't mean I just want to Even hear one side of the Even the word comes to law could be very important you here, you know. Yeah. So it's like if, yeah. if, if, if at all the youth leader is watching, you can call 31008763100876. Mm -hmm. If you call that number, we should be able to reach out to you. Yeah. Yes. So now, um, uh, is, is, is that land enough where you want to move the field? Is it enough? Yes, it's mm. enough for the, for the football because normally, even where we wanted to do the new construction, there still is going to be a space where the academies can do their warm-up training. But mm. in the case that they want competitive matches, they can go to that and there's a bigger side that they can do all their runnings and kicking the balls. Mm. And, and in myself, I'm a sportsman. Mm -hmm. I was a sportsman myself. Just I'm, I'm a PE teacher. Yeah. Mm. I love sports. Wow, it's, nice. Yes, mm. I love sports. And then 19... Around the time you took him in 1990, mm. when Mr. Jalo was the PE teacher. 96, I know Jalo very well. B Boga. Mr. Jalo, Mr. Jawo, yes. Mr. Suso. They know me, you yeah. know, when I was a PE teacher, City Balia. Yeah. I beat them, you know, at the final. Oh, final really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I Old beat them. Sport veteran. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm a sport fan. Oh, I love sports. Yes. But I so just you want didn't them do to anything that will yeah, go against the rules. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. I just want them to understand, mm. so let's prioritize our needs. Definitely. For so me, how many classrooms are we talking about here? How many we're talking of uh, grade uh, one is now going to be six to seven classes. Yeah. Wow. And each class will take almost about 50 plus or 50 a minimum. Wow. Just look at that. Yeah. It's a I huge mean, number. Sports is important, yeah. but education is also very important. Yeah. yeah. No, no, in so fact, you know, for me, everything revolves around education. Mm. Mm. And only yeah. through dialogue you will be able to resolve this part. Yes. Because I think they, 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 they did not quietly understand or oh, there is another agenda to this whole issue. Yeah. For them so what I understand yes. for them, let me know the condition. So what mm -hmm. I understand is that mm -hmm. they want to direct us to say that we can build the fields behind if you know that the corner school very well. Yeah. Behind the pri between primary school and the upper basic there's yeah. a space there. Yeah, I know. But that space is not enough to accommodate mm. twelve classrooms. For me, up on my side should have 12 classrooms, the other side should have 12 classrooms. Yeah. So there is not enough space there. The field must be touched. This is yeah. what they have to wow. understand. I wasn't expecting building classrooms and schools to go this way. Definitely <laughs> myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I wasn't, in fact, the, that decision uh, is left to the principal and the school authorities. Mm. They are the ones that have the final uh, uh, decision. Yeah. Yeah. And the Ministry of Education. Education yeah. Uh, yeah. Did, mm -hmm. Were you able to engage the ministry? What did they say about Yes, I think uh, what I understand from that side is you now, this uh, is in local internal matters. So See? let us solve the problem. Internally. Yeah, so internal problem. So you see my point? Yeah, no, only you and the community yeah. can resolve this yeah. issue. And then the community boys are the one that, no, we cannot build on that place. No Some of the guys way. we are saying, and then there are so many things that has happened at that place. That's why we want to make sure that place is no longer a football mm. field. Exactly. We want exactly. it to be only purely academic you know, wow. ac activities. Yes. So you really need to stand firm yeah, and I convince think, these I people. I think the community you also really need should to. Uh, mm -hmm. understand mm. Um, the school is there. Mm. And uh, these are people that should be respected. I Definitely. mean, these are people that, you know, that deal with our children. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we are at work, but our children go to their schools. Mm. Yes. The whole day they'll be spending time with our mm. kids. So it's important for us to understand and accommodate these people. Mm. I believe having classrooms, having other, another block um, would be an added advantage. And that block will not only be for, for the lower basic. We want to incorporate ECD sector. Because some, mm. some parents, very yeah. good. Because some parents, they come with two, three children. Mm. You find that you know, one, or one of them is below age. Yeah. Yeah. See, he or, he or she has to go to the you know, no, no schools. And the private nursing schools, some of them are ex expensive. Mm -hmm. So when we have, you know, in the government the sector, ECD, it's yeah. going to be easier for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these are some of our plans that we have for this building to get take place. Mm -hmm. So, and to me, that is more important than the mere football field. Yeah, and then, definitely. And then the football field, my point was that, you know, if they were responsible, because I think if certain things I would do, have just come and walk to the, the headmaster and say, Master, I'm a headmaster, I'm a coach of this team, this is what I wanted, we go yes. in dialogue. Yes. But I don't even identify oh, yeah. who is the, eh. who is oh, the yeah. coach. So well, or, or Mr. Then a lot tell of you, okay, like, Master, mm. now what we want is, okay, fine, we understand. You want to build a, like, you want to build a block here, no problem. Now where are you going to? Fine. And then yeah. But they'll have to come, they'll have to come to you so mm. that you talk. 
Otherwise, nothing Or else will. you facilitate that. Talk to the, community, the, the, the village development committee, the national assembly member there, the Alcalo. Talk no, to I don't the think, PTA I don't think the, the, the principal or the master should be following these people. This is my position. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that are supposed to come to the master yeah. because he is the, he is the head of the compound, the head of the school. And that compound belongs to the education. Exactly. And then I'm the custodian of the compound. Mm -hmm. If you need anything there, you, it's, it's very proper and right. You come and we dialogue. Exactly. No matter. Then you want to disrespect us and you mm -hmm. want to even take the uh, thing in a different form. So what is your stand now, as at now? Well, as you said, we still be you know, on dialogue with them and they're trying to find a temporary solution to the situation. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to see our children, you know, outside the classroom. So you this 700 are sitting as of now? Right now, no, we are trying to renovate, as I said, there is a, an old classroom block already, about six classrooms, where we want to renovate. And You're as from them yesterday, okay. very good, we're squeezing mm -hmm. them so that they can all go in. Okay. As I said, but that will not be the permanent solution. No, no, no. The no, permanent no. solution that we have to construct. Definitely. The environment by needs hook to be or by crook. And I don't know, where, we don't know wherever we're going to construct. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, our children will have no place next year. Mm. Okay. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Sise, for coming on this program. We appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. And, you know, we are calling all the ex-students of Latikunda, mm -hmm. I mean, to come support. You understand? Uh, um, if you have, uh, maybe I'll take your contact okay, later okay. Um, so that we can keep in touch. If ex-students of Latikunda Sabiji are watching, uh, which I am part of uh, the ex-students now, yeah, yeah, so it's important for us to come together and support our school. Let's give back to our school. It's very, very significant to do this. Yes, uh, just to compliment what you just said. Uh, this association is already established, mm. and I want to invite you formally yes. so that you can be part of it. I will and, be there. Uh, we and you give him a position. Very well, ah. and uh, definitely. <laughs> I will be there. We, we have volunteers mm. who are in the Gambia, and those are in, in the Gambia. You know, at first, we contributed each you know, 1,000 that is voluntary from every member. And if we can do more than that, there are some who have contributed 10,000, 5,000, up to 50,000. Yeah. They have very good account with the, with you the, with the bank. You your former and, uh, school. And now uh, our work, you know, they are very proud of this thing. Mm. They want to come and plow back to their own school. Exactly. Mm. So with myself, I am also part of the old school. I want to do my quarters. Definitely. Yeah. Trying to make their school to be the best public school in, mm. the, in, wow. in the country. Exactly. Wow. Because I want it uh, to be the pace setter for others to come and see wow. what is happening at the corner. Mm. Nice. So, but sure. unfortunately, mm. with a few no, just dial, just guys dial, just who are just have there, a dialogue no, with I think we should be able to a solution, mm -hmm. inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, if much. at all um, anybody is watching from Latikunda and you are part of the youth committee or the youth leaders, you can call 3100876. 3100876. And if you want to uh, reach out to Mr. Tijan Sise too, you can call that number. Okay. And you know, we will try to see how best to uh, bring you on board on the ex students association. Yes, yes, thank you very much, viewers, for watching. Um, this segment, the Community Watch, we'll take a short break. After the break, we'll talk to the Transport Union President on the road licensing um, in the Gambia. We'll be back. Have you been looking for the perfect indoor router with long-range Wi-Fi coverage and faster internet speed connecting all your smart devices? Well, we present to you the QCell Indoor Router, a router that has all you need and much more. For just $4,275, you can get 4G plus internet speed, wide coverage, and connect up to 15 devices. And that's not all. The indoor router can be used for both office and home needs. So, enhance your internet experience with our indoor router. For more info, call our customer care on 111. QCell, Senior Bus. We innovate, others follow. Save up to 50% energy with the new side-by-side -side Samsung refrigerator. Samsung air conditioners come with HD filter and antibacteria for your protection. Save time, energy, and effort by using our washing machines loaded with innovative features that offer superior cleaning technology. Step into the future of television with our slick and slim Samsung Smart TV designs. Sizes range from 32 to 85 inches. Smart LED, Crystal UHD Ultra High Definition and QLED Quantum Dark LED. Get new ways of interacting with your TV. Unparalleled vision, right from the comfort of your living room. Our products are backed with one year warranty. Visit us at QCell Building at Caraba Avenue or at Boost Returning. Contact us on 333-3217 or email us at info at quantumnet.gm.
To make sure your company's products and services reach your potential customers, it is essential that you choose the right channel for your marketing purposes. QTV has the widest reach locally and beyond, and we can give your business the visibility it needs. Call QTV Marketing on plus 220-324-4444 or email us at marketing at qtv.gm and take your business to the world. As the fastest growing GSM company in the Gamia, QCell has the widest 4G plus coverage in the country. Three times faster internet speed than our competitors. So switch now and dial star 335 hash and enjoy what true 4G feels like. QCell, Gamia's trusted network. It's QTV this morning, and uh, you know, uh, the, after the engagement with the Latigunda Sabiji principal um, on the matter of building the school, yeah. and you know, some youth are reluctant I mean, to, to accept. accept that reality. Okay, and so. at the end of the time, when you look at education, it's very significant. We don't have to take education lightly. Our kids need this. I mean, we've passed through that school, and I think it is fair enough for us to allow our uh, students to, our kids to, 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 to have the same education. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, one thing they should um, really consider is um, things are evolving, mm -hmm. change is coming, countries are developing, especially Gambia, the population is increasing. They don't expect that school mm -hmm. to remain at the same amount of people that, you know, registered with them. So each year they should expect an increase. So if things happen that way, mm -hmm. I think what they really need to do is to have a dialogue with these students. Absolutely. I, I let I, them sit with them, mm -hmm. let them discuss, let them tell them what every reality is on the ground, mm -hmm. let them also hear from the youth, then go ahead. Because this is an important project. Exactly. They I cannot told, just let it go like that. I am just told mm -hmm. um, Mr. Cisse is on the oh, line, okay. the Transport Union President. Good morning, Mr. Cisse. Morning, Mr. Balde. How are you? How is your morning? How is going up and down? Alhamdulillah, Masala is normal routine. Uh, we uh, today have some engagement with the schools. So, what's going on? What activities is the Transport Union He's on? He's very the busy, you know. Busy, no, Mr. Sisi. No activities because, as far as we are representing people, so sometimes it's very important to meet them to know their concerns mm -hmm. and discuss with them so that we can engage and know what is happening, what we can do together for the development of all. Mm -hmm. All it's right. Just normal routine. Yes, we've seen. We've seen. I mean, you are doing the testing of the road licensing uh, service. I mean, I have seen a lot of stickers on different vehicle. But do you mm -hmm. think this is working, Mr. Cisse? Uh It's not yet implemented. Uh, it's not rolled out yet. We uh, drivers uh, are taking the uh, uh, the permit and the and the stickers. Mm -hmm. So we are engaging them, uh, engaging the community as, uh, as uh, the commuters, so that uh, they will know if we will be implemented what is your role and individual, uh, what we expect from them. So we are doing in a sense about the issue, but it's not yet implemented finally. Mm. All right. Um, and now, uh, what do you think? Do you think this would be effective, Mr. Cisse? Because um, it's like people are thinking this is just a sticker. And what, what sensitization have you done so that drivers can understand the importance of this? Yeah, not only drivers. Drivers and the commission and the general public are like, because uh, as I said in the previous you know, platforms, it's not only individual, so we all need to work together so that we can push it to work. But if we sit at the, at, at the corner, you say it's not going to work, it's not going to be work. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing as a union, we are engaging our drivers so that they will know what we want to, you know, you know, you know, bring it because it's a system, it's a new system. Mm -hmm. Most of people have been fear on it. So, but we are engaging them, told them we are representing them, but we want to see, you know, you know, better transparent system in this country, because as a union, we feel only 
uh, if you want a good uh, only system can govern people because as of now the, the the transport sector is very open any individual can enter you know you know you know you know come in and do whatever thing you want to do so i think we think that's not a development that's why we are engaging drivers particularly commuters Definitely. because any individual has a lot of play because we all know what is happening as of now in our roads so it's challengeable for everybody, both drivers and the commuters, because we just commuters in our family. So drivers have been fear before, but now we understand most of the people starting to understand it. So we are seeking support from any individual, particularly the commuters and the general public, so that and media, I think media, particularly QTV, are doing good on this subject matter, so that we can enlighten people, so that they will know exactly. If people understand, I think it's going to be very easy for us. Yes. Exactly so, right. Mr. Sise, I want to come in there, but I'm yeah. going to engage you in the local language as well, like uh, Mandinka. So, uh, I'm going to come in there, and I'm going to program on Noma, and then I'm going to go to the member, and then I'm going to drive all the cola. Ngalor ne ko nim falingo kanana ak kole ya ba ke le pour molie songala say ning 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 stickal milian ko bolle nak kam motol bala te amira ko be mun na fale wulu la drive folie ani cinema milian ko wolle ke be sula la pour kadum motol la kete la hajol jar abarka loli abana famu wulu la abwara la bakhe katun follow follow ba ko masa drive folo karola because be al ne ko be transport to be open tobacco. Momo said, You know, you be a cookie mundia, I think. Until as a union, I'm a local monkey, a sim father can do it. Any sector, you have to apply a faster system or some more session in Barla Muba Governor. No sort of end of the day, more people care of short life. But market of New York is very open. Momo said, You know, I think so that means security is not there. So, over travel, Mark, and number two. Lafa tani na lesoni ya, because ni ana transport jibe particular degree jamani juu area, mulo bara jamaa tiki kama ni kwa mmoja na amang drivers are not excluded, because driver bolu mala kwenye kapaaso lejo, ibamara kapaaso lejo, le farmi kapaaso lejo, nundi same challenges mwa kama mfungiko la face, so wa challenges ni ana kwa lafa kwa lema, so drivers are destination sano, isaidi mmoja ni bidia haja la, isaidi mmoja na motoni kono, ni bidia moto ba iji na mingi la. Because, for example, being a silo can particularly the West Field Tobacco Highway. We can do more talk on my motor man destination or so. So, I can move, 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 I can So, left all level, left all drive all the fence at the end of the day, but left all clear off on a tiny nice one. It's your transport from about transport tiny enough for someone because the body of code means telling you, my silo can buy you together what we can do. But left all the way, I'm going to get the money 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 to get the we work it together kaja kwa mamune keno na because mabangkol mabangkol mbiyen tank niye jibe they have a system in place wala na transport ya mwole tank so nini lafta fana nini lafta kakoli nyama kwenye saa start from you know now kaja kwa mamune keno together kaja kwa mwuma keno mbiyen mabone ronyane woku mwaya bakele ani mfula mfula njogo fana say nji stikal miya nko wale mkaito ulti bimi na kila nibe bora brikama ye nomba keje nibe bora banjul ye nomba keje nibe bora waspil say mwole milia lonko ila faham ndro mwara bakele wale bo wale nola nyane ni inata fatu tetele bulu ya lo nyanta duna mina o atuta drive wale bulu kafu kono nyi nyanta bora jani nyi jani wofana kata kwa wale bila rinyane la milo mdeko drive wale sedano sila kilinkana na nika bulu wesu ni mdeka wale boro da mal but later on, drive all another consideration because you have to come there transport nature GB. You can stick on one road, because you can't stick on one road. 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 So mbo bonda nyari ya saan drive all but destination sort la. Destination in a sense. Moto moto is kika sort la. That means you are registered on the government. Government have your details. You have a document in place. Because you are on the system. You have a system. So mbo bonda wule west field. You have a three option for example. If it is a costa road. Or if it is a brick camel. Or if it is a bagi mdine. But you cannot you know stand on west field. Kamu nangada la regional. Or nangada tali mdine. No. What I can do. Halata mbo kile mbo. You go to your final destination. So mbo jako kile yano fanang. Abo shonale bonda kade tali lato. If I know that the communication, more of the communication by each other, I have to say, I have to say, for the drive phone, I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, the competition between drivers and the customers. It's just so, to promote the free movement within the country, because we all know what is happening today. We are caring. But after all, I think as soon as possible, the man is going to be able to say, the committee is going to be able to say, the committee is going to be able to say, the committee is going to be able to say, together, even including media, QTV is doing very important work in this subject matter, because it's starter. 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring But I think finally, Lua Vetala Kunatola, because in the Kafunola as a team, and the Tawis and the Sussex and the NGU and the Senate, the Timor Asian, the Timor of it, what a killer. But last of all, I understand. Most of all, I think the authorities are members of the Gambia Police Force, members of the Ministry of Interior, they will come with their statement, the community enforcement aspect. But I'm going to follow my love for those teachers, because I'm going to go, I'm going to go, because you don't expect the Gambia of Sudan. Molka Paso to Mianco, end of the UAC is something. But at the same time, Molka Paso, you can see Kapata. Like, whoa, doesn't make sense. So, as a Gambian, as a Gambian, we are going to go to the end of the day. They will get something from the French or the Coconut. But at the same time, Lafaka, Bama, Gambia, Molka, and the Tama, Tarina, 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 Optional lembang, option for drive was a bulaje for four cell and fast bulaje. You know, I'm not a legal expert, man, can you do a party? But what I understand here is the old ministers have a responsibility, they have, they have, they have, they have, because this new issue man can transfer in a program. We are just a partner, Kajako, how to work together, Kajako, Mamune Kenola, Kajako, some transfer. Minister of Transport, I know they have the policies, they have their, they have their mandate, they will come their mandate, Minister of Interior. But End of the new finance, I don't know what I'm going to do. No, no, but finally, what I'm going to do. But right now, our our bit aspect in Bolake can be more engaged. Come on, now for the internal aspect of the police and Minister of Interior, as far as they are enforcers, or you know, enforcers officers, they will come out. Come on, we are not going to do that. But as of now, we don't interact with us here. And the Consumer Protection Commission, because they are partner, key partner in this. Okay. And finally, then you go and think about you go to see all of Balanyo target or Akio. Um, you are in GT Transport Union, Mr. Riumi. And then you go and think and go with you to see send testing phase. We have no money for this road licensing service. We have no in your quarter from there. Yeah. You must have heard me regarding to this road licensing. Come on, send in go. The previous month, unfortunately, we cannot implement it due to some reasons. Uh, but right now, uh, the committee be parina, Lumbuka wala definitely go yep. So Nigeria dia kile i asun group si diwa drive i diwa Afghan diwa kiliani. Ni lumbuka simba roll out i lalang aspect ak lalang fognel do la mona dural Gambiansi. So ni mewa drive i kiliani Gambians asun lai. Ni yep nani johante loho kisne ni. Transport sector in this country, we can go change. We can in better position because the new government in the Gambia transport is very much on trap. Very much, uh, so uh, somebody was saying, I'm not coming to worry. You know, before Gambia, we have an energy crisis, but right now we have a transport crisis. So mm -hmm. transport is the wheel of the economy. So no mm -hmm. problem. So no 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 problem. But I expect that you have to have a doctor pass with the health secretary. Because doctor pass will be affected by the driver. Because the drivers are the committee. The drivers are the committee. So if you have to have a driver's destination, you have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. You have to have a point A to point B. But you cannot stand everywhere. Kunya orang luar boleh mula kawan, ni kunya orang kawan sistem, sistem mula kawan. Sungguh depan lo end of the day, the country will gain. But alhamdulillah, anak ayah kami, because seluruh dunia orang ini, 
ñu bari xamuñ ko di nañ am fiya di nañ am rangal li su ñëwé lan la mëna jur ba asar naw ñu ngi ingé dry fa ñu ngi ko ci ay most of the drivers on the planet because as i said today almost 200 drivers took the planet ñu wi ko ci ingé yi ñëm nga xamal leen ñun yelal sénégal as a driver ci ñu leen yelef mu mu am ba dina mbo tam suñu gamen brothers and sisters ak suñu yi ñu tam ñu nekk very good you know situation in the way of transportation so lu mu ko dop dop pass nekk di gis yow mi bu ngeen dako dako so bu ngeen support from any individual particularly the big houses just na nek tv di gëna sen taxaway fetna ci ci day one you 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 have been coming forward to the the people about it so lo la bëgg lo dass et lon can do things better but right now i feel na suñu ko roll out is implementation is not good dina dina dem fail and the same time the, the, the punishment aspect so ko defé yaaxa lan mo loi ba loi ko defé am na lo espace xama ci loi dara ba lu mo understand we cannot sit as a team bring our energies bring our resources you just go end of the day ki nit yaaxa ko def nonu lolu espace ko ko do dakar bi bi dakar daw do mu nek ba right now lu ñu nek def moy ingéj askan bi particular drive and the committees pour ñu xam li lan mo ci nekal ban ngeen mo ci nekal i think so wala standard ngeen bobu ñoo ñep dinañ comply ba du tax kenn kenn ñu bla bayni but at the same time the kind of police force are there they are part of the whole the ministry of interior they are the law enforcement officers they know exactly what sector mena def pour mena ar those on professional manners and the same time all ministries and the stakeholders are there to play the consumer protection commission ñu ñem min ci but i feel at the end of the day dina mëna indi loi yo xamné ni dina mëna sa gambian asal la thank you all right jerejef thank you very much uh, mr cisse uh, pour waxtan ak ñun mom kay mom All the time is ready wow. to talk to Sayo. the media. Oh, my my jegalu tete nak may wara gis studio bal ko ci nebi. Amul amul ben problem xam nañ ne sa activity dafa bari. Ci ci bis ma sa ko. Wow. Jerejef thank you Mr. Cisse for talking to us on this morning. Thank you my my pleasure. Oh, all right. Um now back to the studio. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I mean it's important lolly certain mm-hmm. things uh be banko ka njang mol nyanta doku la le transportation domoro wol nyanta doku la le lo infrastructure wol nyanta doku mo ko wolle mo banko ti no wol titano ko wol titano banko titano wol ko ma en ya juube say mo lef taka tamo ba ni mira kol ya le kam sto silo ka yo yo reluctant yo dizzy to travel but ni ni ku si fal nata we have seen in other countries like guinea bissau janjan rek they doing things like this mo do buka bori la do dami ya lon ko yo no destinated there so ñanta ka bori daaming ika ika lo wolé to mil tama la banko di ngol be ya lon so right now we must commend the transport um sector mm-hmm. they're doing in a, uh, an incredible job so it's up to us gambians to embrace it because mm-hmm. among easy development na kanana many fears mm-hmm. come at a work la oh it's gonna because you used to something else can exactly. you bond the water doing another thing new always like a time to but so long as start the right huh. i have this hope ne it's going to be very smooth because mm. nim kole ya ko min be kerim bon ko everybody want an easy ride and round mm. so ah. because ya jala ni aji be fanan ko ye nim fen ko fo nyame ye road light ha bi na ram moto men kara brigam mm-hmm. wo brigam ma dro na bota westfield ba- akara brigam ma straight na bota brigam akara banjul nga mera wole be easy la fang dan ye lo silo kay be moto batum yestro ah, gulita ah, taboko ah, yestro gulita ah, banjul yeah. wamo fenna te me yalon ko ka yalon sometimes uh, wo fanka mo stress no ko le foy tek tanga mo jela mi yalon ko ni lota mano kam fo imam moto so e ka sele ah, ah, e ka sele ka munun so ko ndo ma mm-hmm. ade ala life jam like many years abe abe bolon ko no so na na ta combo it's always strange for him a ka fitile because of the struggle here na na ka fa ni ko ndi mala tel ka combo enjoy na but ndel ya ni man ta raje you know ka lo si lo ka ni motol everywhere ya lo mu nek ra birinde ni be basse ni ni ta ta basse lolé ni bota basse ina ta combo jang e be fitile ya lo mu nek because basse bi ni lafta ka finte so ko nay ta marché to e ta bi ta daw da ray dal bije ko le fo e ka lolé ro ray dal yesa ni bota ni ka ra man sa jang ibelo la ray ray day sam ni ka bona man sian ka ta ko ba kuna ibelo la ray day sam bot ni nata jang ite dali ka foko ke melo la mano ka nga moto ni nga stro ni mo le fenge e ka fiti ba ke foko you know fenna me yalon ko transport wo nyanta strengthen na le thanks to the like gts it running q group ya blo di nyola to ease the transport system in the gambia i am seeing the buses they are running up and down i joined the mini bus not long ago very comfortable yes exactly so i think and the fare is less as well they have they have really done well thanks to the q group and the and gts the government of the gambia so we are really 
uh, pleased. So, I come on to go lolling and you sort of program or to be for summer, inshallah. Uh, come for so many Alessandra. Mm -hmm. So, for Jubil, I'll be a la baraka mumu medawa dending a la baraka back. So, my fana inshallah, better lal ye young and in kachaku dol kotek. Thank you very much for watching, and of course, you can follow the repeat at 12 midnight. Until then, bye.